Oh, looks like I'm getting a bite. Might even have a fish on. <laughs> This morning I'm going to be fishing down here on this beach. Got a tip from somebody I was talking to the other day when I was out fishing. They said their neighbor catches a lot of fish out here on this particular beach. So the sun is just cracking over the horizon. I've got some shrimp and I'm going to head down here and see what we can do. Oh, looks like I'm getting a bite. Might even have a fish on. <laughs> hey, there's one. Oh, I lost him. No, he's on there. He's just not very big. Big enough to pull my rod over, though. That's a good fish. Hey, a whiting. Woohoo, baby. Yeah. Okay, got this nice whiting that I caught this morning. I'm gonna fillet him up and uh, show you how I do these. I got a pretty cool way of filleting fish. First thing I do is I cut next to the head, bring it up, kind of curve it around. I'm using a steak knife, it's really sharp. And then I run it right along that dorsal fin right there. Get my thumb underneath it. Work my knife down right along the edge of that dorsal fin, just not real deep, just keeping it right up against the bone. Like that, you can see how it's just peeling away. I get right about here and I take my knife, I lay it down flat on the backbone and I always just push it right through. And then I keep pressure down and then I just push all the way to the back, but I don't cut all the way through. I leave it attached right there. Once I do that, I come back here this way and I just work my way back tight against those bones. I'm lifting the skin, working my way back. Once I get to a certain point, I can just stick my finger underneath there like that, flip him over, and just do this, the same thing. Just kind of work my knife right up against that bone area, nice and easy. Then I take my fingers, and you see how I'm crimping the skin right here? I just crimp it, I slip my knife in underneath, and I create like pressure in between the backbone and where the meat is, and I lift up with my finger, take my knife, and I put it down tight up against the ribs, and I keep it at an angle. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just, I hold on to the skin here. I've got my finger kind of wrapped around the tail on the bottom, and I pull back to my left and I push with my knife and I cut through those ribs that see how the skin is still attached right there that helps well it just came off actually it, it helps whenever whenever it stays attached I'll show you on the other side I'm just gonna set that one to the side there Do this other side come up here tight you don't want to waste that meat if you cut straight through you waste a lot of neat meat so you come up here and you just cut curve like that I flip him back around because I'm right-handed come back up here up, up underneath this skin on the bone again I get my finger under there I just work my knife nice and shallow again right along that dorsal fin area keeping my knife down tight tight on the bone all right sure you, you can see this better if i flip him around this way lift the skin just work my knife underneath there nice and slow it's 
working along that backbone. I get to that certain spot right in that area, back here by the pectoral fin or whatever that fin is on the bottom. I can flip him around. I can get my knife in there and then I just push it back. I'm going to stop a little shorter this time so it doesn't tear the skin off. I get my fingers underneath there again. I can flip him over. Got my fingers underneath here. Create that bind again. I'm pushing down with my knife and I've got my my fingers are pulling up. I hold the I hold the fish down with my my thumb keeping pressure. So a lot of stuff going on here. And then I just use my knife pressure cut through those ribs. Come back here and cut that skin there. Now when I flip him over, now you can see I've got all this to grab a hold of right here and I can just grab a hold of that. I can keep pressure right here and I go to get that skin off like that and it just makes it a lot easier to get that knife started. I'm keeping my knife down on an angle like that. take that skin off. I've got my knife kind of down on an angle like that and I'm just working with the knife this way and I'm pulling with the skin, pulling it back the other way. So that's a lot easier than doing it this way. You got to like just hold down with your finger and you got to try and get it started this way. And uh, it's just a lot easier when you got that whole tail and the backbone to hold on to when you get it started. Now once you get this started, you can grab a hold of the skin here and you can keep your knife angled down, kind of wiggle the skin back and forth and push the knife at the same time. Get your fillet off of there, nice and clean. What I always do is I always tell you what, I'm going to rinse these off. When I was younger, I got a fishbone caught in my throat. Um, I'm pretty anal about wanting to cut all these rib bones and stuff out of my fillets. So uh, you can feel on the bottom of the fillet right here, there's a, a run of bones that runs right along that lateral line right there. So what I do is I cut these ribs out. I don't try and save anything on the ribs because I just don't want to take chances with those bones. And then right along that lateral line, right in there, there's still still bones. So I always come back, and I just cut back in there really good like that. Whoops. It's a small fillet. And then I, after I do that, I always feel in the meat. I make sure there are no bones in there at all. Because I tell you what, when I had that fish bone caught in my throat... It was not fun when my mom was reaching in there trying to get that thing out. So uh, I don't care too much if I waste meat. I'd rather waste a little meat than have a fish bone stuck in my throat any day. Cut those ribs out. Come back up here and just go right along that lateral line there. Cut that out of there. Not a huge fillet, but you know what? It'll eat good. Now I'm feeling that. I'm feeling a bone where I missed one. I just felt it. So that's it. That's how you fillet your uh, whiting. We're going to get this thing cooked up now. Okay. Got our fillets here. Just like take these bad boys and stir them around in a little bit of egg. Olive oil's nice and hot. It's smoking put these in the secret batter. By the way, I'm going to link at the end of this video. This is my secret fish frying, amazing fish fry recipe right here. This batter mix will be some of the best fish fry you've ever had in your life. All right, oil's nice and hot. I just ease them in there. You want your oil to be cooking good like that, otherwise you're going to end up with soggy fish. That's the color you're looking for right there to flip them over. Hey guys, that ends another fun day of fishing. Please like this video and subscribe. And remember, don't just sit there. Get off that couch and go fishing. See ya!